Well, new tonight, the Federal Reserve voted to raise interest rates once again, the third time this year. And while they claim it's to keep fighting inflation, the cost to take out loans keeps getting more expensive. DC News Now's consumer reporter Ben Dennis joins us live in the newsroom to break down the news. And Ben, you've found ways consumers can stretch their dollar too. That's right, Mark. Good evening. Well, it's only going to get more expensive to borrow money because of this decision to raise interest rates yet again. We're talking student loans, car loans, mortgages, and even late credit card payments. They all could get more expensive. And as you'd mentioned, those concerns continue to grow about fears over a possible recession. And today, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said that interest rates will go up another 0.25 percentage points, meaning the base rate is now between 5 and 5.25 percent. And while the Fed said back in March that this very threshold would be when they expect to stop raising interest rates, nothing on the record today. It's unclear if they will continue to rise next month. Here's how another rate hike could impact consumers. The annual percentage rate APR on credit cards might increase 0.25%. That matters for people carrying a balance. And lately, some mid-size and smaller banks have increased rates on savings accounts. That, however, is good long term. And mortgages, they already agreed that they won't be in, already agreed to mortgages rather won't be impacted, but those in the market could be paying more. And federal student loans currently involve interest rates between 5 and 7, 5 percent. But note, the pause on payments continues into the summer months. And further stretching your dollar, if you carry a credit card balance, consumers can consider transferring the debt to another card with a 0 percent interest rate or lower interest rate, depending on your credit score. And as it comes to potential home buyers, shopping around for the lowest rates available right now and locking them in could help down the road if the Fed decides to raise rates yet again. Stretching your dollar from the newsroom, Ben Dennis, DC News Now.